the atrium of Akinash. A world shut inside another. This is what humans do when they don't understand a thing. They build walls around it. They put locks on the doors, and they put soldiers in front of those doors. The bigger the secret, the bigger the lock. And the craziest are those who want to pick it. May my ancestors forgive me. I'm one of those to my misfortune. Ah, this noise, these voices. I can't stand it. Amber, that damn golden mud oozing from the heart of the world tree. A magma of sticky dreams, all the thoughts of those who wanted to taste the forbidden sap. Humans, elves, all their private little chatter is mixed up in this disgusting soup. A flood of ideas constantly flowing into my head for all these years. It took so long for me to find this place. With each step, I heard my voice a little less and all the others a little more. I'm so tired. It's time to finish it. While I can still recognize my own thoughts. The heart of the tree. It's why I'm here. That, at least, I am sure is my own desire. Take possession of this source of infinite power, but also misfortune. It's time to move to the first phase of the plan. Drop your weapon. And it starts now. All right, beast, wake up. Answer when Lord Barnumin speaks to you. Who are you? Speak! My name is Styx. There's a surprise. The elves give names to their monsters. Where do you come from? I've never seen anything that looks like you. I am one of a kind. It's the elves who created it, Father. That's obvious. They pulled this runt out of their sticky larvae, and they sent it here to spy on us. Speak! Is it the elves who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> Elves, if you only knew. They don't need spies to find out what's going on in this accursed tower. So, you're working for them. What did you come here for? I came for the heart of the tree, of course. I knew it. Those degenerates want to retake the tree and keep their precious amber for themselves. Father, we must bring them to heal while we still have time. Enough, Aaron. I secured this alliance with the Elves, and I intend to respect it. For the moment, we need the Elves. You know it very well. Rubbish. Oh yes, you do need the Elves. How many of you poor little humans died the last time you tried to extract Amber by yourselves, huh? How many? Hundreds? Oh yes, you do need the Elves. But they don't need you. How long do you think you can lock them up in their own world? The Amber is theirs. The tree is theirs. The heart of the tree is theirs. And I intend to get my hands on it and take it away from here. They're dying to get their tree back, eh? But they won't do a thing. We have an agreement. An agreement? We don't sign agreements with people who have amber in their veins. <laughs> You're out of your depth, Mr. Governor. Oh, ho, 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 you've got some nerve. <laughs> I'm sure you've never even seen the heart of the tree. Oh, but I have seen it. Since I've been holed up in the bowels of the atrium, I can see it night and day, even in my dreams. And every day I say to myself, Hey, Rakash, the heart of the tree is over there, almost within reach. And by your life, you're gonna find some way to steal it, because you're not leaving the tower without it. The heart of the tree, yeah. Oh, this headache. What? I, where was I? Shit, my brain is in it. Anvil. Yeah, yeah. The heart of the tree. 
What did I do with my dagger? I feel naked without my dagger. I gotta find it quick. Did you see the dagger that Duncan found? I wonder where it comes from. It's not from here. Yeah, well, don't get excited. We'll play for it with dice tonight. In the meantime, keep your hands off. Okay, okay. I'll wait till tonight. They must be talking about my dagger. It can't be far away. I should drink this flask. It would perk me up a little. Well, more climbing, I guess. Always keep to the shadows, and walk where it doesn't make too much noise. Avoid running and farting. So close, but it's a mirage. It's so big that it seems to be close, but I still got a long way to go. So, from what I heard, the only access to the heart is a bridge which that two faced Governor Barriman has had closed off with a tamper proof lock, and he keeps the only key in his apartments. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the whole area is crawling with elves. I'm gonna have to go down into the prisons and free my... Uh, friend. He knows how to deal with an elf. <laughs> so, if I'm gonna survive in this tower, I'm gonna need somewhere safe to get organized, as well as a map of the atrium. 
Well, I'll get nothing done standing around here. I'll get my dagger, and then it's off to work. Sneaky here. If I stay under there, I won't be seen. Where's my dagger? I was afraid that I lost you, my beauty. Hmm. There are maps of the zone stuck up here. They might be useful for finding a way to the tree. Let's see. We got maps of the area. I'll need more than that to get what I want. Assassin's rule number one, always strike from behind, especially when the fucker is twice your size. And remember to land on the carpet to make less noise. lying around. That would be messy. Where can I hide it? Gotta find the best moment to counter his attack. Have another. <laughs> no.
there. Guards. If I stay hidden behind this barrel, it should be fine.
Oh, my lord. Fucking headache. I gotta get me some amber. Yeah. That, that would straighten me out. Down there, maybe? I'd really like to study these cocoons more closely. Ah! A monster! Ah! A monster! Peek through the keyhole just to make sure the way is clear. Gotta get some now. My head is gonna explode. No choice. I'll need some help. Hello, Rakash. I need your runt carcass. Ugh. Damn it, I hate to eat that. Quick! Through the gate. Pull the lever. Something done right? Steal a body and do it yourself. <laughs> Gigantic here. Hmm. I'll have to use the amber vision to find my way. Oh, my God. 
I heard something. It's over for him. Grill. I'm stuck. Ah, this is impossible. There's got to be a way. What's that? Somebody there? Hey, sticks! Over here! It's Ozcan. I'll open the passage for you. Hurry up inside! Huh? Ozcan? Oh, my head. Yeah, I know that name. Ozcan. Yes, you can trust him. Anyway, you don't have a choice. About time, Styx. I've been waiting for ages. I was beginning to wonder if Barryman and his gang hadn't done you in. There was a slight hitch. Well, I think so. Ah, my head feels like a wagon's gone through it. Well, we'll take care of that later. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to tell you that I found a hideout, like you asked me to. I asked you? Uh, yeah, of course I asked you. Damn this headache. Uh, must be why I can't remember what I did even yesterday. Good. I'm off to the hideout then. You'll tell me the way? All you have to do is follow the marks I made here and there. You'll see. This is my personal system. As soon as you see the mark, then you know that one of my hiding places is near. You can go inside. There's one close by, with, as it happens, a list of other hiding places. You'll see. I often put some useful stuff inside. Thanks. I'm off. Whoa, 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 wait. You'll have to pick up the sewer pry bar in another hiding place. Oh, yeah. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you. The hideout is in the... Uh, Sewers. But you know how it is. The more it smells like shit, the quieter it is. You'll fit right in. And to think I was beginning to like you. Sorry to disappoint you, but with your looks it's best not to take risks. And anyway, the royal suite was already taken. In short, go on ahead, pick up the pry bar, and open the entrance to the sewers. I'll see you at the hideout. Well, well. Looks like Ozcan carries a flask in his belt. Let's hope I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> huh? 
I could easily find these marks with my amber vision. Beat it, old man. Ah, oh, watch out, Sticks. After what I did for you, you better keep your tongue behind your teeth. What? What did you do for me? I gave you the plans that will take you to the relics of the atrium. That cost me this fucking amber scar on my face. Besides, I shouldn't go too far. The relics of the atrium? You kidding me, Sticks? Yes, the relics, the last objects of the great fallen lords. Yeah, of course it rings a bell. Yeah, well, good luck. I paid enough for this shit and all your schemes. I should keep my eyes peeled. These relics must be pretty valuable. Visible to anyone who's never touched the amber. All I have to All do right. is follow the trail. I must have been mistaken. Nothing to reports. Everything wears out so fast here. It makes you wonder if there isn't some sort of crap in the air. Corrosive stuff like. Years without seeing my family. They must have forgotten me. Everything wears out so fast here. It makes you wonder if there isn't some sort of crap in the air. Corrosive stuff, like. Damn it. He got done in.
years without seeing my family. They must have forgotten me. Here's the pry bar. Ah, a bit big for a key to a sleeping chamber. At last. Ozcan spoke to me of his list of hunters. <laughs> without seeing my family. They must have forgotten me. Hey. Hey, I think I saw Time something for change there. Of Understood. All right. Let's see, you never know. All right. What? Monster! <laughs> Disappeared. She was oh. he up to. <laughs> Shit. I must have been dreaming.
was that noise? Getting a bit dry around here. How long have you been hiding in the atrium? I stopped counting long ago. Long before coming here. It gives me a headache. So you weren't born near the World Tree with the Elves? It's not there that they made you? No. I wasn't born in the Amber Lake. On the other hand, you could say that it was there that I died. Sort of. It goes back a long way. At the time... <laughs> Don't waste our time, dog! I imagine in the cesspit where you come from, this cell could pass for an elegant lounge. So let me dispel that misunderstanding. You're not at the Embassy of Akanash, and I didn't invite you here for tea and sympathy. You're in prison, and you're going to tell me without any nonsense how you counted on getting your hands on the heart of the tree. Then? The Executioner here will take you to the laboratory and store your body in separate jars. On that point, you were right. It is here that you will die. Did I say that? Well, it's very simple. The first part of my plan was to find my bearings in your tower. And the only one who knows every corner of your hovel is the one who built it. The Architect. Your old friend, Querberus. But what a great plan. What a pity Kerberos mysteriously disappeared once his work was finished, isn't it? Oh, really? He disappeared? Ah, now that's unlucky, isn't it? But no matter. Because our dear Kerberos did not disappear without signing his work. Apparently, he left the complete plans of the tower somewhere inside the Akanash Library. And everything is there for the one who knows how to look. So I said to myself, Hey, Rakash, you're gonna move your butt, find that library, and dig us out the secret plans of the atrium. Sticks, welcome home. I'm upstairs if you need anything. <laughs> <laughs> 